Righto, tallyo. Now, all in one suck, right? I've always thought all in one suck with the iMac or any of these PC ones. I've always built my own towers, or if I need to, I'll get a mini PC or a Nook or something like that. All in ones have never really interested me, and I thought they sucked and they were not powerful and they were overpriced. And this one here has changed my mind. This is the Dell Inspiron 24 inch 5000 all in one. Now, this is the AMD model. It's the new one. You also can get an Intel version of this. And I'll give you four key reasons why I think these all-in-ones are good now, especially this one here. First of all, touch, especially compared to the iMac. The iMacs don't have touch. This one has touch. The design, it looks good. You don't have to have an ugly tower or an ugly nook and then like mismatching monitors and cables here and there. It's very clean, very good design. This thing can game. Video edit, it's got power. That's the third thing. And the sound, the sound is much better than most typical inbuilt speakers you get on monitors. So there's four key reasons why you would get this and especially the clean look. If you like nice things in your house or in your office or at your workplace, this thing looks very nice it has that panda look so it's white at the back it's got a white stand looks clean elegant it's not that thick either the front has narrow bezels there they're sort of like infinity edge and it's black on the front you also get a white keyboard it is a very elegant premium design it's something you can have proudly on your desktop there so i am a fan of its design if anything i would prefer if the front was white as well that would be good but that's just my personal preference now these inspiron 24 inch 5000 started around 699 US around the same in pounds in Australia they start at 1199 this model here will be just over a thousand dollars in the US and 1999 here in Australia and this model has the AMD A12 APU so the CPU has also built-in graphics it's a 9800E graphics in that CPU also has dedicated graphics 4 gigabyte RX 560 graphics. This one has 16 gigabytes RAM. You can go up to 32 gigabytes RAM and it also has 128 gigabyte SSD, M.2 SSD to be precise, and a one terabyte hard drive. And all this is upgradable. So the M.2 SSD, the two and a half inch drive bay, and the RAM is all user upgradable. It's very easy to take off. So that is fantastic that it's upgradable. And it's a great combination having the M.2 SSD and a hard drive for your data. Also has a 24 inch full HD anti-glare narrow bezel display. It actually really is a good display. I'll get onto that later. It's a touch display, of course. And with these sort of specs, this thing's good for video editing and it can game too. I'll get to that also later. So for the ports on the bottom right, right hand side on the underside of the bezel you have the power button on the left hand side i was very happy to see you have usb 3.1 type a with power sharing you have the headphone jack and you also have a full size sd card slot so that's on the side of the bezel there it's not at the back you have access to all that fantastic and on the back also you have hdmi in usb 3.1 type a usb 3.1 type a with power sharing usb 2.0 audio out you have ethernet port hdmi out another usb 3.1 type a usb c 3.1 so it is usb c it's not thunderbolt and another usb 2 there so you're loaded with ports it's fantastic you have the easy access on the side with some ports there as well you're loaded with ports there's nothing missing here now looking at the display you'll see that the glare is very well controlled those really thin bezels it doesn't get the brightest but it's a desktop you're not going to be moving it around in the sunlight but it's plenty good enough for what you're going to use it for the color is very accurate the display seems very balanced it doesn't look warm or overly blue and i don't think you'll have any complaints with this display below the display you have a webcam there as as well it's in the middle and below the display you will also see the speakers and they're really good they're actually better than any speakers i have seen inbuilt into a monitor so that's another reason you'll get an all-in-one because you do get a good sound system acoustic sound system here so it's very good for what it is it's not the best i've ever heard of but it is very high quality you also get included a white mouse and keyboard which match the style of the all-in-one being white and black and it's matte white 
I have no complaints about the keyboard and mouse. They do the job. And of course, you can put whatever keyboard and mouse you want with it, but it's nice that you get a matching one with the system. The display itself, you can tilt it forward and back. You cannot move it left and right, and you cannot lift it up and down. But I believe there's an accessory coming for it where you can put an articulating stand on it and you'll be able to use it like the Surface, the Microsoft Surface thing. So I'd definitely love to try that out. Heat and noise, don't really hear it even when I'm gaming. It's very quiet. It doesn't really get that loud. The heat, oh, there's a mild bit of heat coming out of the top where the exhaust vents are, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Now, the performance of this is actually really good for pretty much any day-to-day -day productivity task you can do. Photoshop will be good. You can video edit with this. It is a fairly powerful machine, as you would expect with an RX 560 in it now for gaming the good news is it can game the bad news is all right the AAA titles you're going to have to back off the settings there something like PUBG players unknown battlegrounds you'll be putting it down to 720 to get a decent playable game out of it but something like Overwatch you'll be able to play 1080p medium settings 60 frames per second so it can game but just know the more demanding titles you will have to lower down those settings I mean it's not made for gaming but it's great that it can game and anything else you throw at it, it will do no problems. So my conclusion is this is the first all-in-one I have used for a long time that I think doesn't suck. Inclusion of touch, nice display, great sound. It looks clean, modern and something you'll be proud to have on your desk and it's got power to do what you need to do. So really what's not to like? If you're in the market for a PC and you don't want to bother with a desktop tower or an underpowered nook or something like that, this is the way to go. All in one, fantastic product. Definitely check it out and you can also get a 27 inch model with the Inspiron 7000 series. So that's one to look Look out for too. So there you have it. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.